one of the questions that were often asked is around um, the suitability of softened water uh, for drinking and cooking purposes. A common question that we're asked is about can you drink softened water? And it's a question really of two parts. Um, on the one hand, I think people are, are alluding to the regularity aspect of fitting a water softener in their home in terms of drinking water um, around do they need to have a hard water tap. Um, that's covered in the building regulations and it's, it's very clear. The other half of the argument is around um, the suitability of drinking softened water from a health perspective um, and the mineral balance and that kind of thing. So I'll try to, to, uh, to address those two concerns um, separately. Um, wherever we fit a, a water softener, we recommend that a hard water supply is maintained. Um, but that's not from any re regularity perspective, that's really about um, freedom of choice um, and customer personal preference. Um, we, we recommend that uh, hard water supply is taken somewhere convenient to the kitchen sink through a little extra tap, sometimes through a three-way tap, um, a filter, um, or, uh, or in some other way, so that hard water is available um, should you require it or should there be a preference, perhaps a member of the family or a visitor one day would have a preference for drinking hard water. The regulations tell us that a suitable and sufficient supply of wholesome water should be available at a convenient location for drinking and cooking. This word wholesome has a special meaning in the regulations. It means water that meets the European standards for, for drinking water quality. By and large, of course, mains water direct from the supply meets those standards. And usually, water from a softener meets those standards as well. If the water prior to going through the water softener is really hard, then it could be that the increase in sodium level during the softening process would increase the sodium level in the softened water to near or even perhaps slightly beyond the maximum level for for sodium um, under the drinking water regulations and that would mean then that uh, softened water would be considered not wholesome. So it still doesn't mean that you can't drink it, that's a freedom of choice um, issue for us, it just means that it shouldn't be the only source of water in the household. So at that point a, a source of hard water becomes a mandatory requirement under the regulations. true that the European standards for drinking water quality set a maximum level for sodium in drinking water and when the water goes through a softener, although it's not salty and contains no sodium chloride salt, we are changing the mineral balance and there is an increase in the level of sodium. Of course drinking softened water would increase the, the total level of sodium that you take in in, in your diet, only marginally though. Most of the sodium that we get is sodium chloride and that's added to foods by food manufacturers. So anybody looking to reduce their sodium intake um, would be far more effective at doing so by reducing the, the, the processed foods, um, tins, frozen foods, takeaways in their diet than ever they would by worrying about whether they drink softened water or not. So for more information about the possibilities for you, why not have a look at our website at watersystems.co.uk, give us a call on Lincoln 01522 509383, invite us round, we can do a little home visit for you and discuss the options. Um, we're also on Facebook and Twitter so engage with us in those ways too and uh, we can help you towards the ideal solution for your water softener.